today we're here to do the snow calibration training uh, and the snow operations training for the upcoming snow season. So far this morning we've had conversations with the uh, 40 or so drivers that we have this year, um, explaining to them what the operation is going to be, what routes they're going to be driving. Here I've got drivers that have been doing this for 20 years and even some of those guys, it really takes some time to get back in and just familiarize yourself back with the truck. We have 22 trucks um, between single axle and tandem axle trucks. We also have seven uh, pickup trucks, 450 and 550 pickup trucks. We have larger plows on some of the trucks. Uh, we have the wing plows on the sides. We have pre-wet systems. All of those are new technologies and new equipment. So our operation consists of two 12-hour shifts. We work a noon to midnight and a midnight to noon. On each shift, uh, we have between 18 and 20 drivers, and uh, we have two supervisors and three garage staff that are working. Been using our AVL tracking systems, the GPS tracking systems, that helps the residents know where the drivers have been and where things have been plowed. When we have plow trucks out, try not to fly around and swerve around. So don't tailgate, don't get too close. We're throwing salt, we're throwing material off these trucks, and we don't want to hit your vehicles in that case. If you have any ability to not have your cars and your vehicles parked on the roads, uh, try and pull those into driveways and pull those off the roads as best as possible. It makes it extremely difficult for us to get our trucks down those roads, to clear those roads. And sometimes we just can't get down them because there's too many cars parked. The goal with the calibrations is, is always to make sure that any kinks, any bugs, anything that can, you know, you try and work that out, obviously before your first snow, before you have any of that stuff come up. We're optimistic about the season. Honestly, a colder winter a lot of times is better because, you know, in the past we've had a lot of warmer winters and you get a lot of rain that leads into snow and that turns into ice. The benefit to doing something like this is kind of twofold. One, it familiarizes the guys with the truck, the equipment. The other thing that it does is that benefit to the citizens is by familiarizing themselves with the routes that they're in. Uh, they'll reduce the amount of driving hazards that they will have um, over the course of the winter. By doing that kind of stuff, it makes them more efficient in their routes, makes them get through the routes faster so the roads get cleared faster, and it also reduces the amount of accidents, things like that can occur. Even if it's just the driver getting in an accident, it's something that, uh, that takes that truck off the road and it reduces the amount of time that they're able to be plowing.